right, welcome to another installment of the Fragments of Silicon Reviews. Four reviews up this week. The first of which is a game called Nyanko Space. Um, so before we get into the game proper, I suppose a bit of background is needed. Um, because, okay, first of all, we are reviewing two Nyanko games this week. Um, mm -hmm. Like and Nyanko? Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> yeah. um, yes, I did the hand thing. We could hear it. Yeah. Anyway, um, so getting back on track here. Um, yeah, the Nyanko games are part of a larger, let's say, media franchise. Um because they are, they were provided by an entity called the Nianco Channel, which is uh, a YouTube channel that uh, does well what we do basically, um, in the sense of they review games, they let's play games. That, you know, they actually do the uh, that kind of stuff alongside um, developing, publishing, and translating games. And um, there's and it's all centered around well this titular Nianco character. And apparently, fan, according to the Steam page, the fans of this channel are called Nyankos. Uh, of course admit, they I are. I really, really know a whole bunch about this, but, you know, it's it technically uh, counts as a multi-format media franchise thing. But, like, it sort of wants to be a VTuber, but doesn't really have the resources to actually pull that off because there's no it doesn't look like they have a huge stable of characters although they have a few mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm sure we'll get more into that with the other game that's slated um but first uh, up here is a game called nyanko space um and in spite of the gameplay you might be seeing it's um more the premise that's uh, dictating the title here than uh, the style of gameplay um, which is what defines the other game we got coming up here. Um, anyway, Nyanko Space um, stars the titular Na Nyanko. Um, she's apparently walking on a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and suddenly aliens abduct her for, um, let's say, reasons. Is let's that the spelling in game? The, the... Alium? No, but I suspect it would be you know, otherwise. Because this game doesn't really have all that much text. Ah. Uh, you know, I mean, it's got a few words, but it's like save, you know, menu options and shit like that. Anyway, so basically what you are to be doing is you are um, escaping the aliens um, who take the form of various, uh, you know, let's say people um well it's like your first encounter is like policemen and eventually you're going to be dealing with um say mummies and flesh golems and so on and so forth it it depends on the theming of the level i'm like um you know like the the third level is christmas themed the fourth uh, level or world is Halloween theme. I think the final world is space. Um, um, point is, it, it's all a bunch of reskins at the end of the day because there's really only one enemy type, and that is um, mob that cha chases you down. Mm -hmm. um, now, the difference in besides um, skinning is speed, and... Um, thought process um because your ba like your basic mobs are going to be walking towards you but there are some more aimless and random ones and there are some that move back and forth really fast i mean that's about it um i i suppose it's worth noting that there are no projectiles in this game of any kind you don't fire anything the enemies don't fire anything and that includes boss encounters the boss encounters are basically supersized versions of basic encounters, except 
what you do there is you have to lead the boss mob into a uh, blue fire or something of that sort uh, an amount of times before um, it keels over and dies. And as far as the game itself, well, I suppose it's a, a maze runner. Um, you know, it operates kind of like a Bomberman game in terms of that you are in a top-down perspective and you move in four directions. Also, this was the game I was talking about last week when I when I said, don't fucking map an analog stick to digital controls. <laughs> mm. It, because it it does that on default on my controller, and I couldn't figure out how to, any way to get it on a D-pad. And this is not a game you want to have uh, fucking analog sticks on, let me tell you. Uh, believe me, I very quickly s switched over to a keyboard, which was much better. I mean, still felt a bit slipshod um, in terms of turning at some points, but... Um, you might be able to tell that this game, um, not the highest in terms of production values. I mean, it's a Dojin game, uh, made an RPG maker. Um, anyway, in terms of your objective, in order to help Nyanko escape the aliens, you grab these, um, let's call them cat balls. Um, these cat ball tokens. Um, there's about, I think there's four to a level. And, you know, it's, that, and that's basically it. I think there's, like, up to four to a level, because I've had some with two, some with three. Yeah, yeah. I think four is the most I've seen. Um, point is, uh, you get those and you avoid the enemies. And that's about it. Like, that's your core gameplay mechanic outside of uh, bosses. Um but I suppose the devil's in the details, because you will get escalations, um, you will get additional gimmicks, um, Though kudos to the ice world for not actually having ice phys physics. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you would have thrown your laptop against a wall at that point. Potentially, but, <laughs> you know, it's like maybe it was a bit extra slidey, but, um, you know, it wasn't like your typical ice, I'm out of control, zero friction um, levels. So that was good. Um, but, yeah, uh, the gameplay is pretty simple and... Um, honestly, kind of hard to screw up. Um, it's just, you know, don't play it with a uh, controller, I suppose, is the gist of things. Um, you know, in terms of graphics, uh, I suppose if, going along the retro scale, this would have been a very average-looking 16-bit title. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it wouldn't, like, if this were an SNES game, it wouldn't look poor, but definitely wouldn't, wouldn't have wowed anyone with its visuals. Um, as far as the music, honestly, I think the music was the best part of this game. Like, really catchy uh, soundtrack. Especially the title theme. That's, that's shit you could dance to. Um, mm. I'm not even joking, either. Like, I mean, not surprising, it's a Japanese doujin game, and um, those tend to have really excellent soundtracks. Mm -hmm. I'm like, um, and, you know, it's unfortunately, like, uh, there, um, I don't, like, I, not a lot of the soundtracks on YouTube, I mean, I think I saw a, a track for it on YouTube, although, um, you can get the, uh, soundtrack on Steam, um, Though, I suppose there's a bit of a note about that, since um, it's the special soundtrack. Uh, not exactly sure what that means. Uh, hang on. Live I, research. Yes, yes. I, um, because you think it'd just be the soundtrack or the OST. Like, but special... Let's see, what, what does it mean by special? Um... You remember? Uh, yeah, it's just one track. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's an and my friend, yeah, my friend Nyanko. I think that was the track that was on YouTube, no less. Which is not the title theme track. Really mm. unfortunate. But I said I 
would buy a full soundtrack here. Not not one track, not the one track that. Like honestly, I didn't think that was all that impressive. Um. But anyway, um, getting into the larger pricing. Um, so Nyanko Space on its own, um, costs three dollars. Though it is on sale because the Steam sale is. Um, running at this particular moment in time, and I guess because it has a Halloween world that counts as uh, being in the Halloween sale. Sure, why not? Yeah, uh, you know it's forty. It's one dollar seventy nine cents, and honestly, you know either price, it's um, it's a it's worth getting, I suppose. Like I'll be honest, I found the actual game kind of boring and bland. Like it's not awful, but it's not all that interesting on its own quite frankly like but you know once again we are talking about a thing that's in cup of coffee range so even if you don't like it you're you're not going to lose out on a whole lot but i suppose if a uh, slightly below average um that's just because of the mapping because i can't fucking change any controls or anything like i, I don't like it when games do uh, do that um, mm-hmm. But maybe that's an RPG maker thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. that's what I thought. Um, and yeah, this also has um, the Nyanko Space special soundtrack for a dollar. Not worth it. And it's got the Nyanko Space love letter, um, which might be a bit more literal than um, one would hope. <laughs> um, I'm going to ha- hang on. I have to wait to pay. Um, yes, more live research. Like, um, the, apparently this is, um, yeah, uh, here we go. These are, uh, these are DLC contents, end cards, ringtones, guide video, bookmark images, and Nyanko's wake up call. Uh, uh, I guess if you're into the channel itself, that might be a worthwhile purchase. Um, doesn't really have a lot to do with the game, um, all things considered. Um, like I said, I, uh, I, uh, even keel on this, like, if you, I suppose if you're already a fan of the Nyanko extended universe, you've, uh, already bought this, but I don't see much worth for a non-fan. Like, and... There is a bundle here, but it's not uh, your typical uh, DLC game bundle. No, you you have to buy the DLC on its own, which is two dollars ninety eight. If nothing else, that's another cup of, you know, that's another Starbucks level cup of coffee. Um, but they've got the Nyanko Premium Edition bundle, which I'm assuming is all the Nyanko games in one. Uh, that's one of those bundles that's beyond the scope of. View since it contains several games that um, are not going to be featured here. So overall, um, I'm going to have to give this a pass at the end of the day. It's just a little too dull for its own good. Um, you know, can't say there's anything you know inherently wrong, but it it wears its welcome out far before the uh, end credits show up. And this game isn't particularly long. Like, I, I got to the end of World 4 in an hour. And I'm just like, you know what? Uh, I've had my fill. I'm good. Uh, time to go play other things. Uh, and Petty, you've been playing the game. What are your thoughts on the game? Uh, pretty similar to yours. Okay. Like, it's, it's not all that interesting because I'm not... I don't really know much about the, you know, source material. Right. So it's like, um, eh. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, they can't all be winners, I suppose. Yeah, indeed. Um, but um, fear not. We do have more Nyanko content after the break, as Twilight Winter will be regaling us with his venture into the Nyanko uh, multiverse with his review of Nyanko Card. 